So about a year ago, I decided to combine several pieces of gear by making my own poncho. I figured that would cover my rain jacket, my pack cover, and the rain fly over my hammock. And so I made my own poncho. And it worked pretty good. It only failed in about three areas. It failed as a poncho, as a pack cover, and as the rain fly over my hammock. That's why we're here. This is the home of my good friend Jessica Larson. She is a seamstress and professional costume designer, and she's going to help me make the new version of my poncho. I think she might be home. Oh, hi, Ken. <laughs> hi, Jess. Come on Thank you. Come on. Okay, so the poncho's designed to be used with a wide brimmed hat, so it doesn't need a hood. It has a waterproof zipper here. Now, the problems that I have with it so far is the way I put the snaps in, the front and the back, I don't know what I did wrong the snaps that don't match up correctly. And also in the front, I thought this would be an appropriate length, but as I walk, the motion of my body causes the poncho to come up above my knees, so I get soaking wet from the knees down. So I definitely need it to be longer in the front, and when I put my backpack on, I don't think it's long enough in the back. So are those problems you can help me with? Yeah, definitely. All right, and when zipped up, this becomes my rain fly. So we need to make sure that that zipper is below the diagonal center line so that that flap over the zipper, the rain will run over that. So is that a problem you can help me conquer as well? Yeah, we can do that. All right, let's do it. Sounds good, all right. So here is the finished product. Now, uh, with all the gear this is replacing, the pants, the jacket, the fly, and the pack cover, those things together cost me 40.1 ounces. That's two and a half pounds. Now this little baby is only 16.2 ounces, giving me a weight savings of 23.9 ounces, or 1.49 pounds. I'm really excited to try it out. Let's do it. So here's the finished product. I gotta say I'm really pretty happy with it. I can't wait to get it out on the trail. Like I said, it's meant to work with a wide-brimmed hat, so it doesn't need a hood. The hat keeps the rain off of the zipper. It works really wonderfully well as a pack cover. I can have my arms on the outside. I can have my arms on the inside, nice and snug. Now, there's going to be a few extra features I'm going to add once I get back from this trip. I'm not going to have time to put the snaps in, but eventually it will snap down the sides to keep uh, everything together in the wind. Uh, all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. Now let's take it over the tree and hang it up and see how it works as a tarp. And this is what it looks like all strung up. Uh, looks pretty good. It's definitely going to cover the entire length of my hammock, no problem. Now when I get more time, I'm not going to have time before this trip, but I'll add a strip of weatherproofing above the zipper so that any rain coming down from the top will run over that and down. Although it is a waterproof zipper, I'd like a little extra security on that. And uh, let's get inside here. Yeah, there's an enormous amount of room inside here. So, uh, actually, I'm pretty happy about this. So, folks, there she is, my poncho tarp. Uh, I've got less than two days before I go, and I've still got pack weight reductions to go. I'm working hard on it. Wish me luck. This is Ken from Fort Hickory. Adios.